Just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. And I think one should work very hard to make it clear that there is freedom in this country and that people are allowed to march, whether one thinks it's a wise thing to do or not. That's the first point. The second point is that organizations, um, and newspapers, the Mail, the Daily Telegraph and so on, uh, the more right-wing newspapers, are confusing the issues in a rather clever and uh, surreptitious way. So the Telegraph has run a piece saying that nearly three-quarters of Tory voters back Suella Braverman in calling for Saturday's pro-Palestinian march to be banned. That's not actually the issue that Suella Braverman is being tackled on. The issue that Suella Braverman is being tackled on is her criticism of the police for not being even-handed. Now, we may all think that the police is, are not even-handed, but we are not all the Home Secretary. This comes down to a unique relationship between the Home Secretary, who is ultimately in charge of the police, and the police, who are ultimately beholden to the Home Secretary. And we've got a squabble that has come out in the pages of the Times, which is disreputable and smug and arrogant and inappropriate for any Home Secretary to be uh, fiddling around with. This Home Secretary thinks it's her job, and she is enabled by organisations and newspapers like the Mail and like the Daily Telegraph, who confuse the issue. I would agree that perhaps the pro-Palestinian march is not a good thing to be had on the Saturday, but I certainly wouldn't agree in banning it. And I certainly wouldn't, if I were Home Secretary, bring the issue onto the front pages of the Times, and I wouldn't use the inflammatory language that Suella Braverman has used. I think that this is a resignation issue. Now, in contrast, says the Daily Telegraph, just one quarter of Labour voters believe that the march should be halted. Well, actually, um, how does the Labour, how does the Daily Telegraph know? Has it spoken to so many of the Labour voters? The polling, which was conducted on Thursday, reveals that only 16 that only 16 percent of those aged uh, over 65 be, believe that the protest should be permitted, compared to over one in four of those aged between 18 and 24. So those people who think it should be allowed are generally younger. 43% uh, believe it should be allowed out of that younger group. Out of all respondents, the majority of people, just by a very small amount, think it shouldn't be allowed. In fact, 52%. That, if I recall is quite close to the majority that voted for Brexit. So I don't think it's decisive in any way. A majority aged over 65% believe it should not go ahead. But the, the real source of the row is a power struggle in the top parts of our government structure. And that, sh that sends a signal that our country is in chaos. That also sends a signal, I'm afraid, for all manner of uh, thugs and agitators to get involved in these marches and to cause chaos and cause disruption. That, I think, is the bigger reason why it probably would be better if this march didn't take place. But that's not to say that it should not have taken place in the first place. Uh, I think the reason it probably should not take place on consideration now is because of the way Suella Braverman has ratcheted up the tension, and that is intentional. This is not somebody who should be in power. The job of the Secretary of State for the Home Office is to cement unity, to instill unity, and not to... Uh, encourage friction and to agitate. This is a person who should be on the opposition benches, but that's probably where she's going to remain unless she loses her seat at the next election, which, you know, we pray for miracles.